Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a software application that expires every year. Also, I'm going to show you how to show and hide forms by using C Sharp. Let's get started by going to File, New, Project. We are going to use this Visual C Sharp. We're going to select Windows Form Application. We're going to name our software appropriately. And then we're going to click OK. OK, now we, are need, we need one more form. So I'm going to go to Project, Add Windows Form. Make sure C Sharp, Visual C Sharp is selected. Windows Form Application, I'm just going to leave the default name, Form 2. So I have two forms, Form 1 and Form 2. Now my Form 2 will contain my actual game or my software application. I'm just going to put a couple of buttons and text boxes and labels and I can customize them afterwards. Okay, so this is my software application. Uh, I'm going to go to the Form 1 now and on the Form 1 I'm just going to add a button. Uh, and I'm going to change the text on the button to say um, click here to open to run the app. Right, here's what we need to do. Double click the button and we're going to put some code here. The first code we need to, to put is check the current date. So to check the current date uh, we need to type date time date 1 equals date time dot now. So this, this line of code will tell us the current date and we just created a, a container here which every time we, we call it it's going to show us the current date. Anyway, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to put date time date 2. So we need the second date. This is the expiring date. Date time dot parse and within brackets and speed marks we're going to put the, the a date so today is the 30th of the 10th I'm just going to put 29th of the 10th so I'm going to put yesterday's date and I'm going to put semicolon in my statement now I have created now two containers two variables date 1 and date 2 and I'm going to create an if statement now To compare these two variables, so I'm going to say if date one dot date is greater than date two dot date. If that's true, if that's true, I want something to happen. And what I want it to happen is I want to show a message box message box dot show and the message box will be your app has expired expired please contact us and then you can put your telephone number uh, if you wish to uh, renew on and then you can put your email address or your telephone number just going to make a number here now I'm going to put a semicolon to add my statement ok so if this is true Let's put a space there. If this is true, then the end user will receive a message. Otherwise, I'm going to put an else statement here. And here, this piece of code I'm going to add now, it's going to hide the current form and it's going to open uh, the form 2. So I'm going to say form 2, my app equals 
new form two. Open close bracket, semicolon to add my statement. My app dot show semicolon to add my statement, and then I'm going to say visible dot sorry visible equals false. So this is for the current form, so the current form will be hidden. And then I'm going to put a message box. Let's copy this message box here. And this message box will be thank, thank you for using our app. Okay, so let's run it. So here's my form one. I'm just going to click on it. Your app has expired. Please contact us if you wish to renew on. Okay, if you wish to renew your app. Okay. Let's put. Oops. If you wish to renew your subscription, let's put. Let's run again. You can customize your message anyway. Like your app has expired, please contact us if you wish to renew your subscription. Okay, so it doesn't really matter how many times I'm going to click on that, it will not show me the form too. So let's go back to the code. What I'm going to do now, so say for instance the client was using your, your application or your video game, but you build it by using C Sharp. So the customer contacts you, uh, pay, make, completes the payment. So you basically change the year from 2017 to 2019. So you give the client another 12 months subscription, and then the client will run the program, click on the app, thank you for using our app, and they will be able to access the software. Hope you've learned something new today. Thank you for watching.